I'm going to give you my thoughts on if a ball bearing turbo needs a restrictor or not. This will help give you the ability to make an educated decision whether or not you want to run a restrictor on a ball bearing turbo. From what I've seen, it seems like it doesn't hurt to have one on there. That's 35 thousandths, but it doesn't make sense that you would need that. Most of the time, if it has an issue with the oil leaking out of a ball bearing turbo, it's not because it wasn't restricted. It's because the drain is too small or the drain is not draining well enough for it to be able to remove that oil from the center cartridge. The ball bearing oil feed fitting, the oil has to go through the top of this and then through the side there before it reaches the ball bearing cage. This pin is the restrictor for the ball bearing cage. You do not need an additional restrictor on top of the turbo. It's very common that people will claim that they need that. And it's very common that people will put a restrictor on a turbo that does not need a restrictor because the oil drain is too small causing the turbo to leak oil. Then they put the restrictor on there, and then they starve the turbo of oil, then it definitely needs a rebuild.